Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new video. Today we are on Pokemon Planet once again, and today I'm going to be showing you guys um, kind of like an overview and what to expect and how to get to the Mossy Dungeon. <laughs> Before today's video starts, I want to go ahead and ask you guys if you want to subscribe to the channel. My analytics tell me that 86% of the people that watch my videos are not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you'd want to support the channel guys, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and let's get on with the video. So the Mossy Dungeon is actually unlocked by completing one of the challenges, which is right here, the Collector 3 Challenge. You have to have caught 350 different Pokemon and you have to catch them yourself. Um, you can um, evolve Pokemon and that counts on your Pokedex, um, but for the most part, you have to catch a lot of Pokemon by yourself. I'm at 410 out of 350, so I got the Mossy Key. So once you've completed that much of the Pokedex, you can unlock the Mossy Key, and that unlocks the Mossy Dungeon, which is actually in the Johto region. Now, I'll open the map right here. The Mossy Dungeon is actually, um, I guess it's, it's in the Dragon's Den, which is in Blackthorn City, and lucky for us, Brody actually added a teleport to Blackthorn City. There used to not be one that was there, I don't think, because um, I, I don't remember one being there in the first place, but apparently now we can go there for 6,000. Alright, so what you're going to want to do when you get here is just head on over this way. Um, if you want a quick way to heal up, I suggest going in here, so if you ever need to use your escape rope to escape, you can just escape right outside the cave here. Um, but if we keep heading north, we're going to have to go up here behind the gym. There's going to be like a little lake area. Uh, make sure you have your appels on because it is kind of annoying going through here. So go ahead, surf in the water, and let's check it out. The first area you're gonna get to is the Dragon's Den. Now this is um, this is a little area that you can find retaining some stuff in, but it's not really that important. What's really important is right here. Now you cannot get in this cave unless you have the Mossy Key. It won't let you go on in. Um, so make sure you have the Mossy Key before you waste your time coming out here. Now if we go on in, we're gonna find ourselves in the Mossy cave now a lot of pokemon spawn here if i go over to the clan chat type slash pokemon um you guys cannot actually see it but um i'll just tell you guys what spawns here um the commons are parasect beautifly butterfree bee drill uncommons are weeping bell and gloom uh we have c dot shroomish sawaddle cottony and skiddo as the rares our vrs are execute ferrosweed and yanma our ers are scyther klefki sandile and chess pin and that is our like re like regular encounters there's also um, a bunch of water in here so there's actually a few water encounters um, for the fishing encounters we have Gyarados, Tentacruel, Kingler, Stunfisk and uh, well, well Lord, Staryu, Dratini and Milotic so I'm not hunting here for Milotic in the future I, I have no idea but we also have surfing encounters our surfing encounters include Gyarados, Tentacruel, Kingler, Waylord, Slowbro, Staryu, and Milotic. So I think I would actually surf instead of fishing um, because of the Pokemon, but I also want the the experience. You'll also find a bunch of gems in here if you're into mining. You have to have at least level 20 mining, I think, to mine in these areas because I think um, the... Is it blue? I think the... No, it's green. The green rocks are the lowest level rocks you can find in this cave. Um, but I'll just kind of explore around a little bit and get you guys an idea of what it's like. Um, I don't want to encounter any Pokemon, so I'm going to go ahead and stack some repels up in here. Um, we do have a few places where we can encounter some Pokemons. So as you can see on the map right now on my screen, we are split into three different staircases in this cave. We have an electric cave, a fire cave, and a water cave. And I'm going to go over each one of these independently and what spawns inside of each section. But basically these are exclusive areas. Each one has a different legendary inside of it. And the legendaries that you can catch in this cave are Entei, Reiko, 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 however you pronounce it, and Suicune. But let's go ahead and explore one of the caves. So this is the first cave. This is the electric cave. Um, in here you can find Reiku, but besides that there are other Pokemon that spawn in this place, and that is Electrode, Gollum, Exploud, Primeape, Magneton, Pichu, Manectric, Luxio, Mary, um, and the ERs are Elekid, Helioptile, and the legendary Raikou, or Reiku, however you pronounce it, dude, I literally have no idea, but that is all the spawns in the electric area. If you want to find the legendary electric Pokemon Raikou, this is the place to hunt for that Pokemon. The middle section, or the second area we're exploring today, is going to be the Mossy Cave, 
water cavern so this is the one where you can find Suicune if we go into our little chat down here and type slash Pokemon the Pokemon that spawn in here are gonna be Gyarados, Gollum, Exploud, Kingler, Ducklet, Poliwhirl, Lombre, Clauncher, Mantike, Maltic, Sfeel, Snover, and the legendary Suicune and there's a lot of people in here because Suicune is one of the the better uh, legendaries and um, everyone just always wants Suicune so let's go ahead and check out the last cave and the last little cavern section we're exploring and there's literally only one person in here is going to be the mossy cave fire cavern if we type slash pokemon you guys can see that the common to spawn in here are my cargo electrode golem exploud the rare is drifloon we got three vrs with vulpix growlithe and magmar our er's are nummel fletchling and finnegan and our legendary is entei now this is actually where a shiny Entei was captured, um, which is like the rarest Pokemon in the game. Insane odds that someone actually found one of those Pokemon. But this is going to be the cave that you want to go to if you're looking for Entei. So that is all the sections of the cave, but there's actually one more thing I want to show you guys that's important about the cave. And that this cave has a special drop for the Pokemon that live here. Um, while you're killing Pokemon, you're going to start collecting some shards, mainly some fossil shards. And there are four different Pokemon shards that you can get here. While you're exploring, you will get cover shards, jaw shards, plume shards, and cell shards. So that's basically for, um, I think the cover shard is for Tortuga. I think the jaw shard is for um, Tyrantrum. And I think the plume shard is for the bird, what's it called? I forget the, I always forget the, these these names because I never use these Pokemon, Archaeops or something like that. And then the cell shard is for Auroras. So um, if you want any of those Pokemon, you have to get 100 of each of their shards and then you can revive them at the scientist place in Cinnabar Island. But yeah, I hope this video has been very informative to you guys. Now, this is one of the harder caves to get into and nice, I just got a cover shard. Um, but what I'm saying is that like, you really got to work on the Pokedex to get in this cave, and this is one of the in-game areas that everyone's trying to get into because of the legendary spawns and because of the great other spawns that just come out here, like the Finnekin and the other stuff. Um, but basically, you just got to complete the Pokedex as much as you can to get in here. And I hope today's video was informative or at least somewhat helpful to you guys. If it was, please consider leaving a like on today's video. And if you liked the video, consider subscribing. Every day we're getting closer to 20,000 and I know we can get there fast with all of you guys' help. But with that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.